oh, you never know what it's going to be like. I think, I, you know, I walk in half eight in the morning most mornings and, you know, the first thing I'll do is just see how the night's been for everyone, see if there's anything that's, you know, happened so far first thing in the morning. And then I'll come up and I've got me to-do list. And if I wrote down the list of things I do each day or each week, I don't think people would be able to guess what job I do for a living. It's just, I mean, this week, the things, what I've had to do, everything from checking whether people's um, dolls restrictions are being monitored properly through to having to figure out what type of laundry pumps go with certain different brands of fabric softeners. It's just um, through to a resident who wants me to help him send a laminated map of a little store to his dad because they always joke about him getting lost in supermarkets. It's just, honestly, it's like being Doctor Who flying around in a, in a TARDIS. There are 20 or 30 different things at any moment that you're dealing with and you couldn't make up that some of them exist as issues to, to help with or to be involved with. Um, you know, there's a lot of support for, yeah, it's about supporting people, like my staff, about supporting issues going on in their personal lives maybe, so that they've got, you know, more emotional space to breathe and feel calm with. Um, you know, giving my seniors the ability to feel secure in their jobs and trusted to do their jobs and to, you know, grow and develop some new skills as well. That's a real big part of it. Um, I think kind of the, the way the company wants me to operate as a manager to fulfill what they require from me, I always try and make sure I'm up to date with that. Not really, well, yes, because they want me to and it's, it's nice, but it just means I have way more time then to keep up to date with everything about the people in my house. If I get behind on the scheduled list of things, I then don't have enough time when I need it for, for people who are here. Um, and so you know, the responsible part of me keeps my workload up to date so that I know that if things change in the home for people that live or work here, that I can actually be there and respond to that. Being a registered manager is the best, most stressful, brilliant job ever. It's just, I can't quite describe, I can't describe it. And I talk lots and I still can't describe why it's so brilliant. It's just, um, if you love people and you love seeing people happy, you just, you can't go through a day without little moments where you think that's helped someone. And it might not be these huge avalanche moments that turn into life-changing events. Like I say, just getting a gentleman who couldn't leave the building through anxiety to go out in the garden. Um, that was, that's just huge because if we build on that, then what, he might actually go out and do activities in the community. And actually it's just all these things that will come from that one little act, I guess. Um, it's yeah I, I take real joy from those type of things because it's yeah 17 years you don't get to witness life-changing moments every day um, and I think if you come in expecting that sometimes you can push way too hard or try and push people too hard um, actually letting them have control of their lives and just and um, I always tell each of my residents they're driving the bus we're just passengers and so you know they get the control they get the say my job's kind of to make sure everything lines up and the roads are clear for them, I guess.